Hello, my name is Yuri Astrahan, and today I'm going to talk about documenting tags for OpenStreetMap. Each feature in OpenStreetMap has a number of tags in them. For example, this building contains these tags. If we want to know what they mean, we can click the information box. For example, here, uh, this documentation is for the key elevation. In some cases, when the number of uh, values is predetermined and well known, the documentation actually exists for the specific value of the key. If you, if a uh, language you speak, it doesn't show the translation, it will show the English translation by default, if that exists. You can always translate or edit your description by simply clicking the little pencil button. Or you can click view documentation to see the OSM wiki page for this tag or key. I discovered that address street has no documentation, so let's add it together. By clicking Edit Translate, it takes us to OSM Wiki Data Items page. This is not a generic wiki page, this is specifically to enter information about keys and tags. Once you, the page is fully loaded, you see the table of all translations, and you can click this Edit button. But before that, make sure that you're logged in and that the language that you want to write in is selected here. So we click the edit button and this form appears. So again, if you see a different page when you click edit, it means you did not let the page fully load. We click here and just in the description, this is the only field you really have to change. Do not change label. Do not change any translation of the label. Usually you do not need that. And here I paste a description for this tag. You can also enter one or more aliases to make searching for this key or tag easier. For example, here we can say street name. Once you're done adding all the trend, uh, descriptions and aliases, you click the save button and you're done. Now, if we go back to the street view, uh, the, the OSM ID editor and refresh this page, clicking the building, and clicking the street name information now gives us the description we just added. One more thing to show before we end this video is there is a SoFox service located at SoFox.org which contains all of OpenStreetMap data and metadata. Uh, there's a lot of the, uh, good examples explaining you how to use it, but for now we're just going to concentrate on descriptions and find all the keys and tags that have no descriptions in a given language. Ignoring the Sparkle language for now, that's a topic for another video, let's find all the Russian language uh, keys and tags that have not been translated. So here you, uh, you change the language code if you need to, you click play, and you see a list of all the untranslated languages, uh, keys and tags without Russian language descriptions. Clicking on the icon uh, will bring it directly to this page where you can add your own translations. Thank you very much.